This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. This lesson is part of the Express course, where it is Lesson 17, and part of Course D, where it is Lesson 14. If else with B, Puzzle 13. All right, what do we got? Conditionals, which means the if statements, the if else statement. Conditionals can be helpful, even when you know exactly what is in each spot, like we do now, I can tell. Collect all the nectar and make all of the honey. Okay, and we only have six tries. So even knowing what's here, we only want six blocks, I mean. Okay, even knowing what is here, we do want to, so we can use less code, right? I guess I could technically say, all oh, right, I can see what's here. So move forward, make honey, move forward, get nectar, move forward and that means every one of these is two blocks so one two three four five six seven so that means 14 blocks of code right because each takes two 14 blocks of code to get this accomplished let's see how many we're supposed to do it in six and that's why if else statements are powerful so while there's a path path ahead just like last time, i want to move forward so i'm just going to keep going forward till i hit the end of the path which is here and then this statement won't be true. So as long as there's a path ahead, I'll move forward. If there's not, droop, it's not, and I stop running the code inside of it. Okay. So while there's a path ahead, move forward. Then what do I want to do? Well, even though I can see it, I want to check. If flower, if there's a flower, B, get the nectar. Else, make honey. And so now, just like in the last level when I was explaining it, we're going to loop through this. First, we move forward. First, we check if there's path ahead. Yep, there's path, so we will run the code. I move forward one. Now I'm going to say if. If flower, and I'm asking the B, is there a flower? True, or yes, flower, but there's not. So false, no, no flower. If there's no flower, I'm going to skip get nectar and do make honey. Yep, great. Now I hit the bottom, because I'm done with that, hit the bottom. Checking right now, is there a path? If there's a path, move forward. And again, if flower. So the B either will say yes, true, or false, no flower. True. And so we get the nectar. Now it will skip make honey, hit the bottom, and run it all again. Let's test. I think we got it. Ta-da! Awesome. Ooh, this lesson was tough. I'm excited for lesson 18. Let's uh, keep going.